So the purpose of this short video is to show you how you can add quizzes in SharePoint LMS. We are at the welcome page of SharePoint LMS and I will go to the administration page. Here I'll go to my list of courses and I'll choose the course site where I would like to work on a new quiz. I'll go to the ribbon and I will go to the course site. There we are. In the course site, I'll go to my courses tools and I'll choose the course tool called quizzes. Quizzes may be created from scratch. They may be used in combination with question pools and we can also create surveys. So let's create a quiz from scratch. Let's call this one quiz ABC. And as you'll see, there are a lot of settings. Now, for this example, I'll just go with the default settings in here and choose OK. This will bring up a, a wizard, and I can start adding my questions. Question 1. I have 10 different question types to choose from, and for this example, I'll choose multiple choice. We'll add a question here. What are the colors in the Danish flag? And we'll add some choices. Now, the correct answer is red and white. We'll add that option. And we'll add two more options, green and blue. And the next one is blue and yellow. There we are. So we've added three different responses. We have selected the correct answer and basically we're good to go. I'll click next and I can add additional questions. Each of my course site, I'll now see that the quiz has been added down here in my learning modules overview. I am able to go up into the course tools and I'll go into my learning path tool because I would like to add this quiz as part of module one rather than have it appear as a standalone item. So I'll go into the settings of the learning module and I'll add an item. From here, I'll add the type called quiz and it brings up the available quizzes, in this case only one, and I can click OK. Now my learning path or learning module consists of three elements, including the quiz. And looking back at the front page, I'll now see that the quiz has disappeared as a standalone item and now it's part of module one.